Hard points. Four versus four. First to 250 points. But who holds the record for the most kills ever achieved in a professional Call of Duty match? First up, an honourable mention to Donny Temp, hitting 75 kills in a pickup game between pros shortly after the launch of Black Ops 3. Starting with one of the only performances with less than 50 kills on this list, Dashi's Black Ops 4 season was something special. Touted as the next AR superstar when he joined Optic Gaming at the start of the season, they faced an Inform 100 Thieves squad at CWL Anaheim, fresh off their win at London. 100 Thieves finished the weekend by going back to back, but Dashi tried his best to shut them down in the winners' semi finals, going 49 in 21 on frequency hardpoints to open up the series. That's a good sign for 100 Thieves and Abel on a force free, starting to turn around, but is it too late? It's a problem when Dashi has more kills than the other Maddox duo combined. He is slaughtering. Uh, will get traded out as Optic now try to collapse and it's Dashi snapping onto anything, everything. TJ with the war machine, he connects on three. Tempest out as well for Dashi. Right now is that his five down from 100 Thieves spawning out. They can't get in and Optic close it out. This list isn't only about the most kills statistically, but also the most impressive performances in other ways, or the most impactful to the team's situation. And it would not be complete without Karma's near nuke back in Black Ops 2. Known today as the first three-time world champion and the glue to the Optic Dynasty, Karma was a superstar in his own right. Facing Enigma at Gfinity 2 while on Envy, he achieved an unimaginable 28 kill streak, 21 with his weapon, a performance that nobody has come close to touching to this day. What a ridiculous! This is 30 How? straight kills for Envy without anyone oh from Enigma God. fighting back. This is just oh. getting bloody. <laughs> Any moment to stop him as nothing seems to be hitting Karma as he takes down another two. If this was a pub, he would have a swarm right now. This is an international champion of the best teams in the world, and he's making it seem like these guys don't even have hands. That's the only reason he called that Hellstorm. <laughs> another lightning strike, his third oh. Hellstorm, and he's finally going to be cut down Bind in the kill column. And you know what? He did the majority of them without dying himself. The kill record in World War II belongs to TJ Halley at the 2018 World Championship. Thanks to surprising group play results, the tournament favourites Team Calibre and Rise Nation faced each other in the very first round. Many expected this to be the grand finals, and TJ certainly played like it dropping 58 kills on an unprecedented London Docks hardpoint. Remarkably, Rise Nation still lost the map, lost the series, and placed top 16. Going positive, man. Dave, positive. Almost triple positive. Sorry, he is triple positive now. <laughs> overlapping some of his streaks here. If he isn't careful, but it doesn't matter. He's a man on a mission. Right, it's a couple more minutes into this game. Then Gullis is gonna get into a rhythm. Like you rarely see games like this out of him. And now when we talk about the really be damaging for Team Caliber accuracy, will fall. He gets the information on Pharaoh Kenny, and a no means out, trying to get a little bit of momentum back in. But again, it's TJ, another double kill. The man simply has not slowed the game. Rise still fighting for the back. They use the spawn coming in for three of their players. TJ forced to give it up. He had the early lead. By the way, TJ Halley has 55 kills and they might lose this map. This is insane as TJ tries to make the play. Oh! oh! Two and double! Oh! A double from TJ! PK set up. Slasher has to die. He gets it contested, but it doesn't even matter. TJ, an unbelievable amount of kills. Into the top five, we find Mr. MVP, the dominant force in Call of Duty since the inception of the CDL. This loses a few points for being online and on Modern Warfare, but is undoubtedly one of the biggest outlier performances on this list. In the semi-finals of the Chicago Huntsman Home Series, FaZe defeated Seattle Surge 3-1, with Simp's 50 bomb on Azir Cave Harpoint, the standout performance. Nobody else in the lobby had above 35 kills. Cave was traditionally one of the lower engagement maps and generally an AR haven. 
To deliver the kill record here as an SMG was nothing short of remarkable. Make their job a little bit easier, but you do have to get by Priesta. It's an obvious tier for Seattle Surges. They have the spawns. If full 60, though, is only going to put them closer. Of course, would not take the lead. But more importantly, again, you have to... Simp, keep your eye on his stats. 44 and 29. You talk about players breaking stats records. It could be him once again. He's competing with himself then. And again, how many of these have been pistol kills as well? Yeah, held by Simp himself. So he could be on pace to potentially even break his own record. The game seems like it's almost just done and dusted with 34 seconds left. 48. Can he find 49? Ties his own record one more. And he extends his current record of slaying Simp putting on a show to start off Sunday. There's number 50. Now it's about setting a pace of which he wants to set for his fellow competitors with two seconds left. It looks like he's only gonna... Let's talk some serious numbers. An advanced warfare provided them. At UMG Washington DC 2015, records were set at the hands of the best main ARs at the time. Clayser had already won the world championship that season with Denial and was now playing for FaZe but was as animated as ever after a 56 bomb against Epsilon in their group play match on Solar Hardpoint. Three kills, three. Eight, one. Four kills, three. Oh my lord, almost made it five. I think that's Yo. what you're gonna get in your mentions now. Fa phase up right now, if you're, if you're a clay fan. But look at this, man. Look at, oh, if he didn't have to reload. He did have two grenades there, so probably didn't throw him out, but reloads, picks up another. Can he find one more? Clay okay, a four is... streak. Can he find five? Parasite's gonna be weak. Now we see those Semtexes fly out. You know, under two minutes gone in this game. Five kill streak, six kill streak. Is that a second six kill streak like, in this game? Like what? 14 seconds left of the first half. Clayson with 29 kills. He is on 30, pace. He is 31. on pace oh, for 62 nine. kills in this game. This is uh, this is stupid. Like this this isn't human. Right. That is not possible. You don't think he's dropping 60? No. I, there's no Please, way. Please, Clay, drop 60. Continue to go off spots. Naga been there. Put some shots down. Ben, he's Seven continuing to streak. do it. 34 and 13. This is what putting a show is Eight like. Eight kill streak. Oh my God! Another player right above him. He just seems. It feels. Like, it feels like he's invisible. They don't even know where he is. With that bold of a statement. Yeah. Look at the Dude, shots he's hitting. He isn't missing. Oh my. Goodness, how do you switch off? Oh of the my the god, are you serious, Lysa? James Ubex! This One is, of a kind. This, it, I, I just I, I can't even comprehend. He's almost triple positive. I, I can't comprehend Lysa, stop it! Lysa, the assist coming in! He is literally lighting up the main stage of critical performances I have seen in Advanced Warfare in so damn long. Doubling the score now of Epsilon, leading his team and the game. Clay! Oh my god! I'm staying on board with him for the final 60 seconds. There's one. Nine more kills for a 60 What's bomb the record in against Epsilon. Honestly, I don't know, but Clayster is setting all kinds of records. He needs eight more kills. Can he make it seven? Oh. No, finally. 55 kills is still an absolutely phenomenal amount. He makes it 56. 56. Can he make it 57? 56. No, he can't do it, but it doesn't matter. Clayster has shown you why he's one of the best ARs in Advanced Warfare. A phenomenal Bye. performance. Despite TJ's 58 kills we saw earlier, it was arguably not the most impressive performance of the World War II season. In the Stage 1 Pro League on LAN, Team Envy faced E United in an important series for playoffs qualification, but were down 2-1 after the capture the flag. Slasher absolutely dominated Game 4 London Docks, delivering numerous multi-kills on his way to 55 kills and 22 deaths in a 250 to 145 hardpoint. Especially unbelievable, because if the game went the distance, say 250-249, he was on pace for almost 70. Envy went on to win the game 5. 5 and 17 with plenty of time left in the game. I mean, we're, lo <laughs> we're looking at just a masterclass. What's the record? 50, uh, 50 yeah. Oh, oh, he's, oh, he's gonna smash that. Uh, Tommy said it for now, and I mean, Slasher. If you watch this VOD back, I just want to say bravo, my friend, bravo. It's a privilege to get to watch you play like this. It really is. As, uh, there it is. There's 50. There's 51. Slasher to this game. So we'll let it ride. And be forced to game five almost undoubtedly.
because of what you're witnessing right here. 54, and he has a minute and a half hill time as well. Let's not forget that. 55 kills for Slasher. Can he make it more? There's going to come a point where he's... Unless someone from United just kind of distracts him a little bit. RC is just trying to be that guy. Picks up two, but it's not even going to be enough. Slasher is setting records. Slasher is a god. Slasher, Slasher, Slasher. I'd be curious about Slasher. Wow. Oh, into the top three and turning back the clock to Infinite Warfare. In the season where Scump and Opta Gaming would finally win their world championship, their year began with only a top six and a second place. The first taste of glory came at CWL Dallas with Scump awarded the MVP and for good reason. Facing the soon to be stage one champion Splice in the winner's semis, Scump set the season kill record at 51 to dominate throwback Harpoint and set up a series win that would later be converted into the championship victory. Last time we saw you and Madcat in a winner's bracket finals with international competition. Still a Trinity Rocket in. Reactive armor to work with, finding a kill on the outside. He's heating up and they've got control here of the hard point. There's a player right next to him. It's zero. Big gunfight. One by Scum. Once again, now challenging the player on the hill. Scum is gunning him down. Five, four, three, two, one. Optic Gaming takes this one. 233 to 206. And that is something we rarely have. It's Scumpy dropping 51. 50. One. You don't see 50 bonds very often, folks. Parasite also dropped 60 kills off stream, but Optic Formal breached the mythical 60 barrier at UMG DC, the same event we saw Clayster hit 56 at earlier. Playing Retreat Harpoint in the group stages, Form Bal was looking to cement his status as the best AR player in the world, and arguably did exactly that with this performance on his way to the event victory. Uh, kind of hill. He is 17-7 though, so he did get two kills inside the hard point. You see him on your screen right now. He is racking up more kills, 18-8, and we're only in the... They say, oh, is it Glacier? Is it, is it Formal? Is it the, uh, the amount of battle players that we have in this game? And he is one of the best, if not the best player, using that battle in the game that we have today. And he's oh, definitely showing it right now on track for over a 50 bomb. We saw this last night. Glacier was almost had the opposition of a 60 bomb. And if you look at the score right now, he's at 25 kills, and we're only in four minutes of the game. He can, so you gotta look at that, put that in effect. Karma is 8 and 18. Oh you goodness. want him to step it up right there. Formal absolutely doing crazy things. Almost 30 kills already. Yeah, some towels. That's form on the woods. Try to hold this one down. This is the last hill on the first side of rotations. And this is the, this is the hill where you can grab so much time. Oh, Karma, yeah. scrap time, but it's actually being fought in. Uh, it's gonna be Hoop, who's actually Baker getting taken out, as well as Swarly. Uh, and then you're gonna see that 46 as he's able to take out one. I have no idea what Formal... Is, is play, I don't know, I, this this battle is not what I've been using. I don't know if he has Dipsidian Steed. Oh yeah, we just didn't see it, but he has almost a 50 bomb. And we still have two minutes and 30 seconds remaining. Can he get 49? His teammates are there. As they are going to make Mr. Matthew Piper. Yeah, as we'll be advancing on, getting ready to rotate center. Looking to be out of this one. Yeah, this is all but over, honestly. Oh, <laughs> the, the, the kills from Formal, he hasn't gotten that 57. He does it now. Can he find the 58 oh. kill? Does pick it up. Now 58 kills. Can he drop the 60? This is amazing play out of Formal. While this game is over, we're just on a 4-1 cam. This is what we have oh, to let's do. Watch for the rest of the game. OG has won this game. Can he drop the 60? He is one kill away. This is the most intense thing of the entire game so far. Oh my goodness, he almost gets the 60 bomb. This game is over, but still, such a great play out of Formal. You know he wants it. He doesn't want to get one, one kill away. He has to get the 60 bomb as we will be entering in. Players, and they just swarm the hill. There it is. There's the opportunity to get it. Can he grab the 60 bomb? There's the 60 bomb. Almost 61, formal, absolutely dominating. And there you have it, the greatest hardpoint performances in Call of Duty history. If we missed any, let us know in the comments section below. Don't forget to make that like button turn blue if you enjoyed the video, and subscribe for more highlights, recaps, and documentaries.